lights, plants, action. <laughs> okay, hi guys, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. Today is a very sad day. Again, some of Mr. Britannica's plants when they came to my house and were in my lovely little cabinet, they had thrips and some, some little one was not very happy and didn't show signs until uh, this week. And I'm very upset. So, I have to say goodbye to this big leaf. No, oh, it's gonna be so hard. Uh, but we still have this leaf. This leaf's doing really well. You know, it has some damage on it. Very upsetting. Uh, but, today I will be uh, repotting this because it's bumping into here. I'm gonna, you know, do some TLC, maybe switch up the soil, make it more... Uh, dense I guess you could say because I don't really like I don't water my plants that often I don't like how chunky the soil mix is I want a little bit more uh water retaining stuff maybe that'll help it out a little bit and I'm also going to be treating them with pests and I'll talk about that a little bit and then we have my sad, my so sad little brandy it was in the back of my cabinet and I forgot about it it probably has some sort of pest too, but it's very dry. It It's not loving life right now. So we're also going to repot this guy and get it all, you know, happy situated. Maybe do some propagations. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And I'm also going to pot up uh, my philodendron tortum from another video that you guys will see. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with the video. <laughs> you just now started recording. I thought you were recording. Okay, go take this little baby out. Okay. I'm just gonna keep saying, okay, okay, okay. Go get rid of this nasty little stuff that I don't want. Um, in the one of the previous videos, I got this philodendron tortum from Plant Me Ashley, and it was one of the ones in her grow wall in one of her cabinets. And in one of her cabinets, I don't know if you guys watch her videos or not. You, you really should. I like her. She's cool. Um, but she got this, like, fake moss stuff that I don't think she realized was fake moss at the time that she got it. So I'm just pulling that out right now because it's everywhere. And I'm pulling out extra uh, polyfill. This is really good. Um, none of the roots are rotted. Is this a root? It might be, but I just ripped it off. Who cares? Um... This plant has to acclimate anyway, so I'm not too concerned about ripping off that many roots. I mean, I am, obviously, but at the same point in time, not concerned about ripping off that many. Okay, this is what we're working with. This cute little dude. I'm so excited. Okay, I have a mix. Actually, I'm going to use the old bag. I have a mix of sphagnum moss, perlite, cocoa, maybe choir peat. And some leca that I had left over from an old plant that died mixed into like this little solution thingy. <laughs> solution. It's not even liquid. Um, this little mixture, this potting mixture that I have. And I use it to like root most of my plants because like it's damp, but like it also has a lot of perlite in it to help with drainage. So I'm going to use that for a little bit to get this guy started. Um, he might be going in the cabinet. I haven't decided yet because I... Um, I'm currently treating my cabinet for thrips, so we'll, we will see where he ends up, but so far, so good. Okay, Michael, if you want to start with the questions, you can. We're doing a little Q&A, get to know me kind of thing, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Oh, what's my favorite greenhouse? What do you mean? Like, favorite greenhouse that I buy most of my plants from? Favorite greenhouse that I like visiting just to visit? Like, really cool greenhouse that I like to visit? Um, uh, so, greenhouse that I would probably buy the most of my plants from would be Esben Shades or Ken's Gardens. I really like Esben Shades because there's so many different locations and some that are closer up to campus for me. And then, I like Ken's because it's a cool weekend spot that we can go to. Here's the final, final look, everybody. I'm gonna treat him before I put him in the cabinet. I'm gonna keep tr treating him after. 
Um, but favorite place other than that to like visit. Oz is a really cool place to visit. Definitely not a cool place to get plants from because they do have a lot of um, issues with pests running around there. And that's obviously kind of depressing and upsetting, but um, what can you do? I mean, most plant places have pests anyway. You just, it goes unnoticed until it's too late because they're constantly treating with pesticides or something. So like you don't notice it until it's too late kind of thing. And like eggs and larvae stick around. But um, yeah, I would say Oz is a really cool place to visit. We will be visiting a couple other places coming up soon that we've never been to and I'm super excited to visit. So hopefully those are cool. Next up, we have the Gloriosa. Oh, the sad leaf. Uh, but yeah, that's, like I said, that's like the, we don't really like go plant shopping far. Like I try to buy locally because it's like from local plant sellers because it's just so much easier to do it in groups than it is to do it like online with other people. You know what I mean? Anyway, moving on. Um, here's my sad little Gloriosum. This is the newest leaf that I put out in my care. Someone else um, had this plant and it only had the two leaves for like six months of its life. And then all of a sudden when I had it one day, it just popped out this baby. And it's got this point. This point's like running into the thing, but it has not grown since. It is kind of dried out. So we're gonna, you know, see what's happening underneath. Ooh, I didn't mean to hit you. But yeah, there's definitely, definitely thrips. I did not like this whatsoever. We'll insert pictures of what thrips look like in case you guys don't know or have never experienced thrips. Uh, ah! Oh, there are, I don't know if that's roots or fungus growing out the bottom. <sighs> Next question. I don't know, I'm kind of just doing this for fun. And I know that a lot of my plant friends that I have, they said that I like, when I educate them on things, they're like, oh my God, that, I didn't know that kind of thing. And they, they're like, you should do a YouTube channel. That would be a good video. And I'm over here like, mm, maybe, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea if this like took off and I could have it as extra income for college because right now my job is on campus. So it obviously doesn't pay the most because it's a campus job, but I do get a nice little stipend this guy is really stuck in here. Uh, there we go. Okay. The roots aren't terrible. This is definitely very dry. Oh, so dry. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in the same pot. The roots are kind of tiny. I'm putting it in this pot because then it can like go across. And hopefully it'll fill it out. I did the trick if you guys watch Harley. Um, I did her little trick where she puts moss at the bottom to help wick up water. And I'm hoping that'll help with how much it dries out. But I'm going to sprinkle some of the old soil on top. And I did spray this pot. So I have this mixture of water, dish soap, and rubbing alcohol. And like the alcohol kind of acts as like a sanitizer almost. And it kills anything like bad that's in the soil or whatever. But I just sprayed the pot with it. This is what it looks like with a little bit of this kind of soil oh i just made a huge mess on my lap oh well i'll clean that up later but the next question that i was asked was um how often will i be posting michael and i have thought about this a lot or mr britannica and i have thought about this a lot and we want to we want to definitely post on a weekend and we want to post during the week during the week's going to be harder for me so we're going to be trying to do uh, videos during the weekend and have like a stockpile of videos, I guess you could say, where um, we'll just like post Wednesdays and Saturdays. Saturdays will probably be our filming days. Not that you guys really need to know that. Don't really care about that. You just care about, you know, content. When are you gonna post kind of thing. We hope to be posting on the weekends, like Saturday, once a weekend. And then Wednesday, once during the week, I guess you could say. But we will see for, like how things work out during my semester and our first year of YouTube if anything changes. We'll see if I even continue doing this. Who knows? We might stop after a month. Doubtful, but just saying. Anything's possible. So if you guys are wondering what soil mix I'm using right now, 
I'm actually using a mixture of my own, a mixture of the person who used to have this plant, and then um, De La Tanks. If you guys watch Becca, I'm like just, you know, throwing out all these plant YouTubers that I follow. But if you guys watch Becca's videos, I absolutely love her soil mix because it's like just the perfect combination for me. I guess we must be like the same type of watering people, but it, her soil mix is just so nice. I really, I've been slowly switching most of my plants over to it. It's so nice and it like helps with my watering schedule and all that jazz. And cause I don't water my plants that often. And when I go away, I really don't water them all that often. Or I like bring my plants to college and I like struggle, like if I'm studying or whatever. But her mix has been very helpful with like just being enough drainage, but also just being enough like holding on to that moisture, which is so nice because like I said, when I go away and I don't water my plants all that often, it can be kind of stressful because I'm like, oh no, did I like water them before I leave? Like, are they gonna be super dry, what not? But most of the time they're, they're doing pretty good. So I'm also going to be treating this guy. I'm gonna like, don't forget to, you know, tap out any air bubbles. Okay, I think that, that this guy has enough room. And I have a node buried, so we might get another pup. How's this? Oh, I think that's good, I think that's good. Maybe I'll put the stake back in. Is that cute? What do you think? Cute. Yeah, that's where we're at. We got this cute little leaf back here. Oh, I can see pests right now. Oh my God, no way, that's from our soil mix. They're, they're good guys, they're good pests. They're, they're good little guys we want, I'm pretty sure. Cause her soil grows a lot of whatever. But I'm just gonna, you know, spray with my little mixture right here. And I'm also gonna be wiping the leaves. So, if any of you guys wanted to know what I do to treat pests, I first start treating with Jax, Captain Jax, insecticidal super soap. So I use this. Usually, like when I do waterings, I'll use that. But like if I start seeing pests, then I'll use my own homemade mixture and that, like I'll alternate almost. And I'm not sure if that's like a bad thing chemical wise. Maybe I should know, but I don't. And then for like preventative, I do have a water and neem oil mixture that I do spray, but because I just moved all my plants, most of my plants into my new cabinet, I don't want to be spraying this just yet, like in the cabinet, in the cabinet. I spray it outside of the cabinet because I don't want to get like whatever materials I have in the cabinet, like the cords and all that wet. Um, I'm just going to be spraying. I'm just going to spray this and I'm going to wipe off the leaves and the, what's petiole? Come on, Shelby. You took botany. You think you would know this. What's the next question? Where do I want to be within a year? I would definitely like hitting a hundred seems so far fetched for me, but I definitely think I, I could definitely up, up that to probably being like 500, maybe even a thousand subscribers. But we'll see, we'll see. Like I'm not, I'm not in a rush to grow my channel. I'm kind of just doing this for fun and seeing how it goes. I want to, I want to enjoy my plants with other people, like how they enjoy their plants. So if I make it to a hundred within a year, I make it to a hundred within a year. If I make it to 500 within a year, amazing. I make it to 500 in a year. If I make it to a thousand, wow, like, geez, you guys must really like me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't really care. I'm kind of just doing this for fun. I know Michael wants to definitely do this more seriously, but I'm kind of laid back. I, I'm just doing this to do this and to enjoy it and to enjoy like editing and all that with Michael and helping him out with things and him teaching me things that I've never learned before. All that good stuff. So that's, that's what I think. Next question. Oof. What do we do for watering our 200 plus plants? So at Michael's house, parents' house, I take all of his plants from their locations and I put them in the bathtub and I hose them down, water them, whatever. Sometimes we'll do the sink. Sometimes I will take our, um, we have 
we recycle little gallons and we'll fill them with rainwater that we collect. And I'll use that sometimes too. For me at my house, sometimes I water in, in the spot because it doesn't have like a drainage hole and I don't really care what happens. Um, other times I will take all the plants to the shower and do a deep watering. On occasion, I will just take them all out of my cabinet onto my floor into like these little trays and I'll just fill them with water and hope for the best. Other than that, that's like how we water most of our plants, I want to say. What's that? Here we are. I don't know if you guys can see this. Wait, we're down to two leaves. Hopefully little baby guy makes it. I'm rooting for him. Okay, here's the, here's the rough one. Oh no. Uh, this was a wishless plant that I adored so much. And then I just, he just got lost in the back of the cabinet. Never to be heard or seen from again. This guy definitely probably has pests. I just have no clue yet. What's the next question? So I'm a full kind of, I am a full-time college student. I live on campus, which I've said before. As a job, I like babysit. These are like, not like my serious job, serious jobs. These are just like jobs, like random jobs that I have. Um, but I babysit my little god sister. I love her so much. I also do EMT evaluations like I'm a patient actor for EMT evaluations oh this was way too chunky of a soil you need you need more yeah you definitely need more oh no you're like really drying out um so I do that and then when I'm on campus and like most of the time like during the day and all that what I do is I am a lab assistant for my university so I'm like working in the labs, helping in the labs, doing all that jazz. If any of you guys see this, no, you don't. You do not know me. Please don't embarrass me. Not that I'm going to be embarrassed because I really don't care. I'm doing this because I want to. Because it's for fun. Cool. Okay. This is where we're at. This is, this is where, this is, this is where we're at. Oh, there's like no roots to this whatsoever. But anyway... I am a lab assistant, so I like work in the lab and all that and do all that fun, cool jazz, jazzy stuff. Michael or Mr. Botanica, his job, he's a carpenter, so he works for an exterior company. And then his hobby is, well, not really a hobby. He has his, he has his own business that he does after work, which I think is really cool. Um, I'm going to use that mossy stuff that I have. But he is a carpenter by night and an exterior worker by day, if you will. I'll have him insert some of his lovely projects that he does because he doesn't really like talking about it all that much, but I think they are so good and that he should, you know, talk about them more often because he does a really good job with them and I, I think he should continue doing what he loves kind of thing. Uh, but... That is, for the most part, our jobs. Um, any other job? Michael used to work at Chick-fil-A. I haven't worked anywhere else but campus, I don't think. No, I used to work at my high school. I went to a technical college, so I had these fun programs that I took care of. I was in the veterinary science program because I wanted to be a vet, and I would take care of the animals that we had. And I really enjoyed doing that. And I still enjoy taking care of animals. But I have moved on from taking care of animals and moved towards taking care of plants instead. Which I think is a much better hobby in my opinion. Because a life of a plant isn't as vulnerable as the life of, say, an animal. So I would feel really bad if like, I got super depressed and became unable to take care of the animals. Whereas if I become super depressed, my number one priority is myself. So I'm going to be taking care of myself, my plants, 
some of them will make it, some of them won't. And I mean, life goes on. And I think that's a great mindset to go forth with owning plants because you can't just expect that you're going to be able to 100% take care of all of your plants all at the same time. Like, look at this plant. This plant looks so sad right now. And I'm hoping to make it better. We will see. But definitely would recommend if you have a lot of plants, don't worry about them. Worry about you. You're, no, you're your number one priority. And you should always remember that. I think it's something that most people forget about. Like, you're human too. It's okay to forget about plants. Um. I'm just spraying the back of all the, the front and back of all these leaves just to make sure I get a nice soak. So, any other questions? Oh, what camera do we use? So, when Michael and I were really sitting down and talking about creating a YouTube channel, we knew if we wanted to be serious about it, we knew we didn't want to go cheap. We wanted to get a camera that would last us a long time and that would be nice to have. Like, even if we ended up not doing YouTube full time, or whatever we wanted a camera that would still be good for cameras photos and videos because we want to like we want to record our lives while we live it for our children so um we got the sony what sony a7 four five four um it's a i would say it's a really nice camera you guys would have to let me know how like you like the videos and all that i'm hoping that it's a good quality some of the videos that we've already made I really enjoy. I'm like, oh my God, look at that. Like, that's so good. And like, we've taken pictures with this camera already and I really enjoy them. And I'm like, I'm hopeful for the future with this camera. Like, I think it was a good investment. I definitely think that even if we don't do YouTube full time, it's not like a total loss because we can use this camera for other things and go on adventures and do all that kind of cool, fun stuff. And I mean, I, I don't know when we'll never not want to, you know, take pictures of plants. And I still have my plant stickram, so I can always, I might, I might just take this leaf off. Hold on. I won't take this leaf off. But yeah, that's the camera we have. And I also have a mic, so hopefully you guys are hearing me clearer than if I were just talking to the camera. And hopefully you're not picking up Michael too much. He might be editing himself out. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's just living his life over there. I'll throw these in like a propagation container. So no more questions from Mr. Botanica, but I'm, I'm done, I think. I chopped off a bunch. It still looks really rough. I'm gonna throw this in the cabinet, give it a nice water. I'm gonna throw these pieces in a little grow propagation box and hopefully things go well with them. Here are the plant babies and all of their nice glory. You little guys. I'm like making sure there's no more pests on them. Alrighty. Hand me my stool. Let's film an outro. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed me potting up this cute little tortum that I got from Play Me Ashley. Isn't it so cute? I'm so excited. I hope it grows so well. I'm going to put this in the cabinet probably. I did just treat it. No promises there. But, and then I did. I'm going to give these guys a nice soak. But fingers crossed that my Gloriosa makes a, a comeback. Because it is my pride and joy and I love it so much. I'm going to say that about almost all my plants. And this was a wishless plant that I really adored. But I didn't realize how like near impossible it was to grow. I might need to get a moss pole and like actually become committed to watering the moss pole. Because I have had moss poles before and I just, I can't keep them moist. Anyway, getting sidetracked. Thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. If you didn't learn anything, hopefully you still enjoyed me and my little plants. But anyway... I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you have a great day and I hope your plants get some TLC. Don't be afraid if your plants look like crap because the internet can be a harsh world. And honestly, just learn to not care because life goes on. You may look like this plant. Like you might wanna look like that beautiful brandy that you see online, but in reality, you're like this. And that's okay because it's, it's okay to not be okay. That's what I'm trying to say. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Catch you in the next one. Bye!